Hey guys, I'm finally back to full strength. So Victoria has decided that my first task today is to come and do a big IKEA shop for Buckley because our job this week is to make sure that is finished. So yeah, fun and games, retail therapy ahead. He actually went pretty well yesterday. We only ended up with two trolleys full of stuff, but that's because Victoria had the sense to order a lot of the bulk stuff, like the sofas and everything that we get from there online. So that was all planned to get delivered today. So far, so good, except for the fact that she put our home address on the delivery address rather than the address of the property that it's going to. So I'm sitting here waiting for that all to arrive at our own home and then I'm going to be playing Courier this afternoon to get it all up there because the IKEA delivery guys refused to change the delivery address. And here we are, right stuff, wrong house, thank you Victoria. Aside from that I've got a lot of catching up to do, basically every project has someone screaming at me for information or next steps or an order that needs to be placed, something along those lines. First one I need to deal with is Churchgate, I know you all think that should be long finished by now but we're still working through the refinance on that. Shawbrook who we are borrowing with have got some long questions that they like to ask us, not in terms of the length of the questions, but in terms of the number. So just keep in mind that whenever you're refinancing anything, particularly an HMO though, it will take you a lot longer than you anticipate. Final requests, I believe our brokers promised us that they shouldn't have any more questions after this are two fairly standard things. One thing that I need to send through is invoices for all the major expenses on the project, that's fair enough. Second thing is the copy of the planning application decision notice. Again, fair enough and easy to do. But the third thing, rather bizarrely, is they want a copy of the original advert from when we bought it. So from the commercial agent that sold it to us, they want a copy of the sales advert. No idea why, no idea how I'm gonna find it other than go back to the agent when they open this morning, but we'll have to dig that out as well and send it through to them. Just another checkbox to tick and hopefully if we get those three things cleared up, we should be able to get everything approved and get the funds released ASAP. We also completed on Hillgate whilst I was sick, which is the little car park in Stockport Town Centre that we've got planning permission to build a ground floor office and then five apartments above it. I think we're gonna go with the timber frame construction on that one. But first step is to get a topographical survey of the site done. So I'm just pulling together the details of the site, the location, a couple of screenshots off Google Maps to send through to three different companies that are gonna give us a quote on that. Next up is a project that we are currently buying subject to planning. So just finalizing all the planning docs for that to get it submitted and hopefully we can get completion on that. Maybe not before Christmas, but certainly soon after. We've been working with a guy on Fiverr for the drawings because it's a pretty simple project, but whilst the drawings themselves and the designs have been simple enough for someone on Fiverr to take care of, the major issue we faced is getting them aware of all the requirements for the formats of the documents that need to be submitted and all the little details that an architect based in the UK would know offhand from submitted planning applications. There's a lot more hand-holding working with someone overseas. So the process has been okay, but it's taken us a little bit longer, although it has saved us an absolute fortune. And I'm pretty happy with the designs anyway. This is what it looks like at the moment. Currently a two-story building next to a three-story building with quite a high roof line on it. So what we are proposing is to bring up add an additional story to it and also put living accommodation in the roof space, taking it from a two-story building up to a four-story building. At the moment, the ground floor is currently tenanted and we're gonna keep the tenant in there. It gives us a little bit of cash flow whilst we're doing the project. First floor is vacant office space and we're gonna convert that into a two-bedroom apartment that looks something like this with two bedrooms on the left-hand side bathroom in the middle, one of the bedrooms has got an ensuite, and then open plan kitchen dining living space on the right hand side. This staircase currently is already there, so we're just going to continue that up to the second floor. Second floor and the loft space will be a single large apartment, three slash four bedrooms depending on how the tenants choose to use the space. So again, open plan kitchen dining living room, bedroom, on the, I guess, the ground floor of this apartment, but it'll actually be the second floor with another separate lounge, which could be bedroom four, 
bathroom and big storage cupboard. And then up in the loft space, a further two bedrooms, both with en suites. So hopefully, like I say, we can get this one approved. We're gonna get the drawings submitted today, get it verified by local council, and then eight to 10 weeks, we should have a decision on that and can get completion all confirmed for early in the new year to start work on that ASAP. Okay, I've done my delivery job for the day, but rather than show you around Buckley, Victoria and I are gonna be heading back there a day later this week to do some finishing touches and get the place dressed, so I'll wait and do a tour then. I've now just popped across to Macclesfield, uh, no, not Macclesfield, Warrington for final task of the day to meet the building inspector here and check the foundations. We dug a dry, trial pit last week, so just to check that we can take the weight of the additional story that we're planning to put on top of it. So here we are back in Warrington, familiar with this place by now. And here is the trial pit. It's gonna be a little bit dark, let me stick a torch on. And you can see we got some pretty deep foundations here, which is a good sign. It means it shouldn't be any issue getting an additional story on top of here. What we were hoping for, what we were thinking initially was a timber frame, but with those foundations, we might actually be able to get a brick wall. It's currently a nine inch brick wall, so maybe we'll be able to just continue that all the way up, which would make our life a little bit easier. I also got two steel beams that span from the front wall to the back wall, and then the joists sit on top of that, nine inch joists on top of that. So we're thinking that we can actually take these internal brick walls on the ground floor down. Uh, there's the other, there's the second steel. Um, possibly put a steel column around halfway across that span. But yeah, if all these brick walls can come out, we'll basically have a blank canvas and can start again with the timber work. So we will wait for the building inspector to show up, see what they say, and then hopefully we can start planning the construction method, get scaffolding up, get the roof off, and take it from there, which will be exciting. Okay, so after waiting about three hours for building control to show up yesterday, the report is inconclusive. We can definitely get a third floor on, which is good news, but whether it needs to be timber frame or if we can go with a brick wall, we do not know. So back to the structural engineer for that. But today we are at Buckley. Say hi, Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> um, so plan here is just to get as much of the kind of finishing touches done, snagging little bits and pieces that we haven't managed to find a way to systemize yet. So busy, busy here, um, but hopefully it should look a lot different by the end of the day. So uh, quick tour, kitchen behind my lovely assistant. Um, obviously a lot of mess to deal with, a lot of unpacking to do, a lot of Ikea boxes to take to the tip. Lounge is coming on. It's starting to take shape. I think it's looking really good. I love this floor. We painted the floorboards in here. It looks, fits in really well with the theme Victoria's going for. We have got bedroom on the ground floor. Decent size double with ensuite. Fairly standard setup for ensuite. Shower, sink, Toilet. Love this kind of vinyl floor as well. Looks good. And then upstairs, you might recognize this carpet from Churchgate. We thought we'd just reapply it because again, we really liked it. This is the smallest room in the house, 6.7 square meters exactly. So just on the brink of what is allowable. But it still works. I like these feature walls that Victoria's done on wallpaper this time versus like a color. Obligatory stag prints, which seem to be all the rage at the moment. Furniture provided by our friends at Fusion, obviously. Bedroom three. Decent sized double room. There we go, nice tidy yard at the back which has just been resurfaced after getting the drains put in. And then, communal bathroom. Very nice. And, bedroom four. So let's see how much progress we can make today.
think we're gonna call it a day at that. We've just loaded the car up, but just want to show you this quickly. Let's spin this round. Stick some lights on. Doesn't really make a difference, but this room is pretty much finished now. I love it. Got TV to go in the wall still. And then in the kitchen, we've got appliances to go in. So obviously we've got a cooker going under there. Fridge freezer going in there. Plinths to go back on. And then we're basically done, but it's looking amazing. This morning was yet more of the boring stuff, paperwork, desk-based analysis, all that sort of stuff that is not worth filming. And then this afternoon I've been sabotaged by a leaking shower tray in our own home, which means our kitchen is mildly flooded and Victoria told me in no uncertain terms that this is now my priority. So here I am, it's Friday afternoon anyway, the week's almost over so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Next week we'll have more progress on our projects, maybe give you a bit more insight into some of the newer ones that are coming up in the pipeline. So if you want to keep up to date with everything we are doing, please be sure to like this video, it'll help us out a huge amount. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll see all of the videos as they're released. Thanks guys, see you soon.